Madeline and her husband James Carville led a forum last night hosted by the New Jersey Chamber of Commerce. For Carville, a Democrat who has led a host of successful political campaigns, including former President Bill Clinton, New Jersey is where he had a stunning defeat when former Governor Jim Florio lost his reelection bid in 1993. For Madeline, a Republican, New Jersey is a state with a leader she believes has a bright political future. However, she doesn't think Chris Christie will get the chance to run for president in 2016. I think what his attraction will be, not in 2016 because we're not going to lose and Ron's going to have two terms, is that he will continue to be a thought leader and a policy leader because he, he, he is true in here. He's One of Chris Christie's problems going to be is that uh, he stuck up the House pretty good in his speech. And, you know, he talked a lot about Chris Christie and a little bit less about Mitt Romney, and that's going to probably be something he's going to have to answer when he runs. But again, I think he'll be taken seriously. However, the focus right now is on the 2012 presidential election. And since the economy is a key issue in this race, Madeline asked this audience of business leaders if they're happy about the current economic conditions. Is 1.3 percent growth, how does that, does that incite you to open up, expand your business, open a new one? For the jobs can no, it doesn't. And I think by and large, the president's policy has been sound, and I think that, that, you know, we'd like to get out of this faster, but we are starting to, to get out, so I feel pretty good about it. The outcome of the presidential race will have a huge impact on businesses in the state. That's why the president and CEO of the New Jersey Chamber of Commerce invited Madeline and Carville to offer their perspectives on what's at stake. The business community needs a lot, so you can have a, they have a long list of needs, but they're not going to be able to accomplish getting those needs unless we have somebody that understands that and can provide leadership to accomplish uh, the tasks of getting that. Carville, who also helped U.S. Senator Frank Lautenberg get reelected, also talked about his impression of New Jersey. We used to have a saying, if you can see a building in New Jersey, you can't get to it. <laughs> no, I have fond memories here. I like the people. They kind of get right in your face and tell you how they think. You don't have to guess. You may think their partisan differences might make for a rocky marriage, but after 18 years together, it's Madeline and Carville insane. say they're proof. Opposites attract. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Edison. Christy.